For centuries, humanity has looked up at the night sky believing we understood its scale. We charted constellations, mapped distant galaxies, and counted worlds scattered across the cosmic ocean. We convinced ourselves that by naming the stars and tracing ancient light through telescopes, we could somehow contain infinity within the boundaries of human comprehension. But every time we thought we had reached the universe's limits, reality tore that illusion apart. And now, the James Webb Space Telescope has done it again, not quietly, but with a revelation so profound it threatens to rewrite the very blueprint of the cosmos. With a single image stretching across 13.5 billion years of time, Webb has forced humanity to confront a staggering truth. The universe is not just vast. It may be infinite in ways our physics cannot yet describe. It is older, denser, more structured, and perhaps more alive than we ever imagined. What began as a mission to glimpse the first light after the Big Bang has become something far more revolutionary. Webb hasn't merely observed ancient galaxies, it has revealed the hidden architecture of creation itself. Before Webb, there was Hubble. Its iconic ultra-deep field changed astronomy forever. A patch of sky no larger than a grain of sand held at arm's length revealed over 10,000 galaxies, each an island universe filled with billions of stars. That single image expanded our notion of existence and suggested that the observable universe could contain up to two trillion galaxies. But even Hubble had limits. It could not see the oldest light, light stretched so far by cosmic expansion that it slipped into the infrared. The James Webb Space Telescope was built precisely to see that invisible realm. And when its golden mirrors finally opened, the universe responded. One of Webb's most ambitious programs, Cosmos Webb, devoted more than 250 hours to scanning what appeared to be an ordinary region of sky, an area three times larger than the full moon. Thousands of exposures were combined to create the most detailed cosmological map ever made. Within that single frame, scientists identified over 780,000 galaxies, each one a glowing monument to time. Some of them appeared impossibly ancient, structured, organized, and chemically enriched, despite existing mere hundreds of millions of years after the universe supposedly began. The scale defies human comprehension. If Hubble's deep field was a page, Webb's map would be an entire wall, a 13-foot mural of infinity, with every speck another galaxy and every galaxy a cosmic world unto itself. It is not simply data. It is a redefinition of reality. For the first time, humanity has held a piece of eternity in its hands. But beneath the beauty lies a deeper disturbance, one that shakes even the most rational scientific minds. These galaxies are far too evolved for their place in time. They contain heavy elements, spiral-like structures, and massive black holes that should not exist so early. According to every model, the universe at that stage should have been a chaotic infant, filled with gas clouds and primitive stars, not fully developed galactic cities. These galaxies should not be there, and yet they are. This single observation destabilizes the foundations of cosmology. It implies that star formation, black hole growth, and galactic evolution began far earlier than our theories allow. The cosmic clock appears to have been ticking long before the moment we call the Big Bang. Or perhaps, time itself flows in ways we have never understood. Webb has not just revealed light from the past, he may have uncovered the echo of something older than the universe as we define it. As astronomers analyzed the staggering depth of Webb's image, they observed another anomaly. The galaxies were not scattered randomly like seeds cast into the void. They were organized along vast, invisible channels stretching across unimaginable distances. These were not accidents. They were filaments, colossal tendrils of matter linking galaxies into a cosmic superstructure. This is the cosmic web, a universe-spanning network of dark matter and gas connecting galaxy clusters into forms so massive they could hold hundreds of thousands of Milky Ways. 
Some of these filaments extend billions of light years, forming patterns too symmetrical and too coherent to have emerged in such a short cosmic time. This discovery challenges everything we assumed about the early universe. It suggests the cosmos was not born in chaos. It was born with structure, with design, with a blueprint woven into its fabric from the very first moment. Gravity alone cannot account for this. Something deeper, more fundamental, shapes the geometry of existence. And this realization sends a shockwave through modern science. For decades, the Big Bang has served as the cornerstone of cosmology. Space, time, matter, everything was thought to have emerged from a single explosive beginning. But Webb's data hints at something more complex. If galaxies were already mature near the dawn of time, then perhaps the universe did not have a single beginning. Perhaps it is cyclical, expanding and collapsing through endless epochs. Perhaps time has layers. Perhaps what we call, before, and, after, are illusions born from limited perception. The deeper web looks, the more it reveals a universe that refuses to end. In Hubble's era, we spoke of the, observable universe. A sphere roughly 93 billion light years across, limited by the speed of light. But Webb's findings whisper something far more unsettling. What we see may be only the smallest fraction of what truly exists. There may be no boundary, no center, no outer edge. Just an infinite expanse, light and shadow repeating across eternity. Infinity, once a philosophical concept, now becomes a scientific necessity. And within that infinite reality, humanity finds its reflection. Standing before Webb's images, we confront our greatest paradox. We have never felt smaller. And yet, we have never been more meaningful. Against the backdrop of endless galaxies, we are a brief spark of consciousness on a small blue world. And yet, we are the only known beings capable of building a machine that can look back across nearly the entire history of existence. In that act alone, we become part of the universe's self-awareness. We are the cosmos observing itself. Webb hasn't just given us a picture, it has given us a mirror. One that reflects both our fragility and our brilliance. Its golden mirrors have peeled back the curtain of time, showing us that reality is deeper, stranger, and more beautiful than we dared to imagine. It has shown us that the universe may have no beginning and no end. It may simply be. And as more data pours in, each pixel revealing galaxies upon galaxies, the story of creation is being rewritten before our eyes. We are only on the opening paragraph. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to see the unseen. But what it has truly revealed is our own hunger to understand. Its discoveries remind us that knowledge is not a destination, but a doorway. And beyond that doorway lies something vast, eternal, and waiting. The universe is not only greater than we imagined, it is greater than we can imagine.